This is the Argon 18 E118 Pro time trial bike of the Astana team. And it's particularly exciting for me because I've not seen it before. It's a brand new model. Now, before I go into all the details of this hot new brand new bike, then be sure to subscribe to the GCN Tech channel if you haven't already for the latest bike tech. This particular bike belongs to Dario Cataldo. His name badge kind of gives it away. And the first thing to note is that it's a disc brake equipped time trial bike, which is kind of unusual. Most teams are still using rim brake time trial bikes in the Pro Peloton in 2019. And we've got 160 rotor at the front and 140 rotor at the back. And among the teams that do use disc brake bikes, we're kind of seeing this as a trend, 160, 140. And it's something that neutral service is starting to do as well. So this could become the standard. Interestingly, Argon 18 claims that the new model is lighter despite having disc brakes. This is a surprise because normally disc brake bikes are about half a kilo heavier than their rim brake counterparts. But in the exact same build, they reckon that this bike is 250 grams lighter than the previous rim brake equipped model. Now, owing to the disc brakes, that means that the front end is much cleaner and you have more tire clearance as well, as well as the better braking performance. And speaking of tire clearance, we've got these Wolfpack race tubulars on here. Wolfpack being quite a relatively new brand in pro cycling. But I've heard good things about these tires in terms of their rolling resistance and the team mechanics and riders seem to really like them as well. There's often a commonly held perception in cycling aerodynamics that disc brakes aren't as aerodynamic as rim brake bikes, but Argon reckons that that isn't the case here either. So they believe that the new bike is faster than the previous one. And lots of aero testing went into the development of, of this particular new model. So it began with CFD, which is computational fluid dynamics. So that's designing it on a computer to be as aerodynamic as possible. And then there was lots of real world testing, which took place in velodromes, but also out on the road as well. And they were able to do this properly and quantitatively by using a Notio Connect Aeropod sensor mounted at the front of the bike. Now the exact wattage savings that you get on this bike compared to the previous rim brake model depends on the rider and varies slightly. But generally speaking, when you look at the data that Argon presents, it's about 10 watts at 50 kilometers per hour. Now 10 watts might not sound like much to you, but at the top echelons of the sport where time trials are often won by just seconds, 10 watts can make all the difference. So according to Argon, 10 watts in a 40 kilometer time trial at 50 kilometers an hour, which is typical of what the pros can amazingly achieve, represents about 25 seconds in time difference, which is huge. Argon 18 also tell me that they've tweaked the handling and also worked on the handling characteristics of the bike to improve it as they also feel that this is an area where the bike can be improved to make it faster because it's not just about being as aerodynamic as possible a bike has to handle well so that it can be faster in technical situations on courses so it'll be interesting to see how it fares once it gets raced. Astana's wheels are supplied by Corima and they're very bling indeed and these are actually special edition 30 year anniversary ones which particularly tasty. So at the front, we've got the very slippery looking tri-spoke and at the back, we've got a disc disc. Yep, that's because it's got a disc brake rotor on the other side. In terms of gears, we've got big ones because this is a time trial bike. So Dario Cataldo is running 55 44 tooth at the front and this is a solid vision chain ring and that's because it's a little bit more aerodynamic than have one with lots of gaps in it being a time trial bike and that's bolted on to a power box power to max power meter with fsa power box carbon cranks very nice and then at the back we've got an 1130 cassette now this is normally well probably typically be an 1128 cassette but this bike's been set up for the time trial on the opening stage of this year's Giro d'Italia, which features a climb at the end. So he's got that extra gear at the back there to help on the climb. So we've got the shifters on the extensions and also the shifters on the base bar as well. So you can change gear in both positions. And these really nice 
pads as well. They, they feel really soft and squidgy. And a really cool detail I've just spotted is the junction box integration. So you don't have a scruffy junction box hanging out, which isn't very aero. It's integrated really neatly into the headset cap there. And that makes charging the DI2 really easy as well. And another advantage, I guess, of having disc brakes on a bike like this is that you don't have those quick release levers sticking out into the wind, which can account for a couple of watts at 50 kilometers an hour. So you've just got really neat flush sort of Allen key sockets. So uh, if you need to change the wheel, the mechanics just have Allen keys ready. Final little details of the bike. So we've got a nice Tax Aero bottle cage on there and some Look Keo Blade carbon pedals with titanium axles. Very tidy indeed. And this Pro Logo Dimension saddle. I've not actually seen one of these before, but it's got this really intriguing textured surface on the top to help keep the rider in position. Right, got to give the people what they want. Oh, I know you'll all complain. So free hub sound check time. Nice, quite like that. There we go. And well, the weight of it, when I pick it up, it's actually surprisingly light for a time trial bike with discs. And uh, the mechanics just weighed it over there. It's 8.3 kilos, which is pretty competitive for a disc brake, disc brake time trial bike. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, then give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section what you think of the new bike. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love this fade as well in the paint job. Very nice. And to see more time trial tech from the Giro d'Italia, click on the bike.